hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see multiple features of washington dc release of service now so let's begin the video keyboard shortcuts feature as the name suggests it will help us in knowing what are the keyboard shortcuts for multiple functionalities of ServiceNow platform as you can see on the screen that we are on our personal developer instance now we are going to open the keyboard shortcuts feature so to open that we have to click on ctrl plus forward slash and this will open the model box for keyboard shortcuts as you can see on the screen we have multiple functionalities of ServiceNow platform and these are the shortcut keys that will be used for those functionality for example we have for impersonate user this is the keyboard shortcut for opening the landing page this is the keyboard shortcut opening user menu this is the keyboard shortcut opening notification menu this is the keyboard shortcut so now if you want to open the user menu you can do it directly with the help of keyboard shortcuts Control plus shift plus u and this will directly open the user menu and if you want to impersonate user you can do it with the help of keyboard shortcut Control plus shift plus i this will open the impersonate user model box now one more example is that if we duplicate this tab and open another page let's take service catalog page now this is our service catalog page and we want to go back to our landing page that can be done with the help of keyboard shortcut Control plus alt plus z we immediately goes back to our landing page and here if you see we have Control plus forward slash to open this keyboard shortcuts model box and here also we are giving the shortcut key view all keyboard shortcuts on page Control plus forward slash okay so this is keyboard shortcut features time limited user roles feature this feature will helps in providing role to user for a certain period of time now how we can provide a role to user for a certain amount of time click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type time dash limited user roles okay you are going to see the module under user administration application click on this now click on new button here you are going to see the form of time limited user role record you will select the role you will select the user you will select the start time you will select the end time and you can also provide justification in the comments field why you are giving role to this user okay now here is one more thing if you are providing the security admin role to a user then directly you cannot provide the security admin role so if we click on search icon here and look up using the list and if we find security underscore admin this role you will not find why because the user who is providing the security admin role must have the security admin role and must elevate their roles to provide security admin role to a user so firstly check in your profile whether the user is having the security admin role or not and if they are having a security admin role then they will see the option of elevate role now click here select the checkbox of security underscore admin and update now we look up the record of roles now if we search security underscore admin now this role is available and this is a new table also so this is a new table for time limited user role so if you want to see the name of the table click on additional action configure go to table so this is the system name of the table okay so this is the feature of time limited user roles background script new user interface feature 
This feature will help in writing the background script with syntax highlighting and script formatting. Let's quickly open the user interface of background scripts. Click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type scripts this background and in system definition application you are going to find scripts background module click on this now this is the new user interface of background script we have these tools available okay we can toggle comment we can format the code we can replace and find okay we can open this code editor in full screen Okay, so these are the tools that are available with the code editor. Okay, now if we write a code where gr equals to new glide record incident table okay. Now you can see that how this is being highlighted and the syntax is highlighted, the script is formatted. Okay. This is similar as we write a server script or a client script. So if we type more like gr dot, now this will give us the help box in which we can see the methods available or the properties available with the glide record object. So if we type add, you can see that the help box appears and these are the methods available and the properties available with the glide record object so this new user interface is helping us writing code in background script we query okay now if we have to format this and this is also see another help box appears letting us know that how this method will work okay so now if you want to format this code easily we can click on this button format code you can see our code is formatted quickly in the earlier releases it was plain it was plain text how it will look let's see that so if we toggle the syntax highlighting and the script formatting you're going to see that it was like that in the earlier releases the code was plain text okay so this new user interface of background script will help us in writing the code in a syntax highlighting and script formatting manner so this is the new user interface of background scripts catalog item save as a draft feature this feature is going to help us in saving a catalog item as a draft for example you are requesting a catalog item that is add and remove a user from a group now there will be a form presented to you and you have to fill the fields of the form and you don't know what information to be provided in some of the fields what you can do is that you can save the catalog item as a draft and once you get the information for the fields then you can fill the form for the catalog item and raise the request for that let's see the demo of it and during the demo we are going to see a important point now as you can see on the screen that we are on our personal developer instance and we are going to open the service portal so let's duplicate this tab and to open the service portal in the url we are going to pass slash sp to open the service portal now we are on our service portal page and here we have to select request something click on this and we have to go to office and in the office we have to select add and remove users from group okay click on this this is the catalog item here we are presented with the form of the catalog item in the form you can see we have users select request type and group name let's assume that we know the user and we know the request type so let's select a user okay so we have selected our user and what we don't know in which group this user has to be added so what we can do is that we can save this catalog item as a draft so on the right side you're going to see a button save as draft 
So click on this. Once you click on this, you can see that there is a message appears. Your item has been saved in request and you can view drafts. Okay, click on this view drafts. This is a link and it will redirect you to this page. And here you will see submitted request. There you will see the request that you have submitted. And in the drafts, you're going to see the draft request. So this is the one, open this request and it will take us to the same page. Okay, here now, still you don't know what is the group, but you came to know that this user has to be removed from a group. So what you can do is that you can select remove and you can see that save as a draft is changed to update draft because this has been saved as a draft initially and that's why the button text has been changed to update draft. So once we click on this update draft, now we have changed select request type to remove. And you have noticed that when we are saving as a draft, and when we will update as drop you're seeing that this is the mandatory fields and we are not filling up the mandatory field still we will be able to save the catalog item form as a draft so if we click on update draft you can see your draft item has been updated view drafts so if we click on this it will take us to the drafts tab and here we can see our draft catalog item if we click on this then you can see that our user is this and our select request type is this and once you get the details of the group name you can select the group name and you can submit the request to remove this user from that group now the important point is that save as a draft button will be available on the service portal it will not be available in the platform view now we are going to open this catalog item in the platform view let's copy the name of the catalog item and click on all navigation menu in the filter navigator type maintain items click on maintain items module and in the name column search box paste the catalog item name hit enter this is our catalog item click on this now we are going to open this catalog item in the platform view. Let's click on try it button. So click on this. Now this is the catalog item form. But as you can see on the right side that we don't have the save as a draft button available here. So save as a draft button will not be available in the platform view for the catalog item. Okay. And we can see in the configuration of the catalog item also. So if we go back to the configuration of this catalog item, let's go back, click on three dots, more options, configure item. Here you're going to see the sections available. Portal settings. If we click on this, you can see we have hide save as a draft checkbox, but this checkbox is in portal settings okay it means that we can hide save as a draft or so save as a draft button on portal okay if we click on this checkbox and save the catalog item and go back to our service portal and refresh this page You're going to see that we have saved this catalog item as a draft and this is showing us the information that a draft catalog item you're trying to open is deleted because the catalog item was updated after you save it as a draft okay so this is the new page you have been redirected and you can see on the right side we don't see the button for save as a draft so save as a draft button in catalog item will be available for portal this is the important point this is catalog item save as a draft feature automated test framework atf for workspace feature this feature will allow to run tests for workspace user interface let's see the demo of it click on all navigation menu 
and in the filter navigator type automated test framework okay now you have to click on test module click on this now we are going to create a new test we have to click on new button to create a new test and our test name will be new test okay now we are going to save this record of test okay our record is saved in the test steps related list we have to click on add test step so click on this button here we have to select form and we have to select open a new form and click on next button once we click on next button we are going to see the configuration for test step so step config open a new form and here you're going to see form ui field means form user interface now we have the options for workspace also available in this if we click on this we are going to see workspace user interface options are available here now if we select service operations workspace and if we select a table incident incident and submit click on the submit button our test step is added and we are going to add one more test step to showcase one more functionality okay click on add test step button we have to select form and in the form we have to select submit a form test step click on this and click on next button in this add test step configuration we can see that form ui field is populated with service operations workspace which we have selected in the test of open a new form okay so by default this is picking up the value that we have selected in the test step of open a new form okay so this is the functionality of auto populating the form ui okay and if we submit it our test step will be added here so we have selected the form ui as service operations workspace in open a new form test step which gets auto populated in submit a form test step so this is the automated test framework atf for workspace feature so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye